So once you've signed into the plugin, you'll see your compositions within it and you press the arrow to render your animation. And there it is, it looks exactly how I want it to. Now from within the plugin, you can save your animation to your PC. You can either save it as a .json or a .lotty. In this case, I'm gonna save it as a .lotty because this is my preferred file format. If I want to preview my animation on mobile, I need to upload it first to lollyfiles.com. So from within the plugin, I just click Upload. And this little globe icon shows me that it's uploaded to lollyfiles.com. I click it and it opens it up. And here I can see my private link, so I can share it with my stakeholders or the Lottie Animation URL. If I want to disable download to make sure that people I share it with can't download it, I just click that. And then if I want to have it as an MP4 or a GIF, I can easily convert it in just a click. Now the animation's been uploaded, it can be tested through the plugin on all the mobile devices that you've connected to it. So you can see here that I've only connected my iPhone X, but say you've got multiple devices, an iPad, an Android device, and an iPhone, you can connect them all to the plugin. And with just one click, you can push your animation to all the mobile devices you have to make sure it plays exactly how you want it to there. From within the plugin, I can also access thousands of free Lottie animations. If I see an animation I like, I can just click on it. And here you can see I can download the After Effects file or I can save it to my PC as a .json or .lotty. And these animations are completely free for you to use. Also within the plugin, I can actually see all the animations I've previously previewed. So if I'm working on multiple designs, um, I can just easily go back to this tab and find the ones I'm looking for. It sort of, it makes the, my workflow so much easier because everything's just in one place.